All right, recycling, single street. Uh, it's very simple. You put all of your recyclables from your home into a container from your home. Your vehicles come from the township, bring it to the plant. It's all sourced and separated out inside the facility through computer controlled systems, conveyors, and myriad of people. Once it's sorted, it's bailed separately. Water bottles, soda bottles, your milk containers, cardboard paper, aluminum, and tin cans. Then it's marketed throughout the world. So that's how a simplified explanation of how that plant goes. You gentlemen have been there, you've seen how it operates. Um, with that being said, I think what everybody here tonight is trying to figure out, how do we reduce that cost to the individuals in the township? Bring that cost down, what you're paying to process the material through my facility. It's very simple. There's um, a trash bag, your um, single source plastic bags come into the plant. We're charging for them. Unfortunately, they wrap around the system and they're not a recyclable. The trash that comes in, which is obviously not a recyclable. I brought some props up here to show you, which not a recyclable at the plant. The good thing is the wall drills, Weights, all good. <laughs> Solo cups, they are recyclable, but they're not a bottle grade plastic. They don't have a narrow neck and a wider base. Styrofoam, also recyclable, just not through single stream process at the facility. Sports, we got footballs. Christmas lights, these are extremely dangerous in the facility. They come up through the, the sort system and they wrap around all of the cylinders and screening systems we have. We have to shut down, clean them out. Gentlemen and ladies have to handle them and pull them out of the screens. It's dangerous. Lithium batteries, number one source of recycling plant fires in the last year. A lot of people have been hurt, plants have been destroyed, a lot of people have been out of work due to this. Propane containers. Obviously, a danger. They come through, they get compressed, they explode. That metal is a shrapnel flying through the air. Something we do not need. These are your microwavable containers for your food. Recyclable, but they're not a number one or number two plastic. Bottle grade. They are a plastic. It can be recycled, but not for the facility. Shredded paper, a good source of fiber. Just not good through the system. What happens is it goes up the conveyors and falls through the screens and goes out with the trash. Another item should not be incorporated. Good stuff. The cardboard, all day long. Clean, folded, no food residue on it. Jack, we've spoken many times about pizza boxes. Pizza boxes are recyclable. Normally the lids are not because they are coated with oils from the pizza. If you want to remove that lid, throw that in your trash, send the pizza box out with your single stream container, perfect. Again, not good. Plastics and cardboard together. It's just not separated and does not go through the plant well. Uh, these are, again, not a bottle grade plastic, unfortunately. Can be recycled, just not through the single stream process. Right back in the trash. Yeah. Well, we need cheese containers. These, these most of the time can be recycled because it might be a number two plastic. So it can go out with your high density polyethylenes, which is your um, Tide containers, uh, your soaps, hair shampoo containers. Right? This is the number two. This actually can go through because it is a bottle grade plastic. What about the plastic on the top? Is that the top, it's incorporated. If you could remove it and throw it in your trash, mm -hmm. it would be spectacular. But most of the time, you just it, it comes as one, correct. Okay. Case? No good. Not a bottle grade plastic. Okay. So trash as well. 